Minnesota Fighting Vikings continued to keep the meh band together as NFL Network and hashtag one of us reporter Tom Pelissero uh, tweeted out Friday evening that Dakota Dozier uh, had re-signed, re-inked with the Vikings a one-year, one million dollar deal. So cool like it's not the sexy you know big big splash I, I fully understand and a lot of people a lot of vikings fans especially ones in the comments will be like ah, yeah, yeah. but you know, we'll, we'll actually tell you why it's, it's a smart signing gives the vikings some flexibility in a sec but overall i like it i mean it's fine it's obviously not sexy but it's solid and girthy and girth matters in this world right so dakota dozier uh turns 29 in april uh guard slash tackle for the vikings uh 6'4 312 uh former fourth round pick uh by the jets again stoking the dumbest rivalry in sports history the v- 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 vikings versus the jets yeah uh 2014 out of Furman, and also we said this on every dakota dozier video Furman's mascot is the paladins i'm a paladin with 80 hit power great yeah. Uh, did sign up uh, as a free agent with the Vikings in 2019 uh, because, uh, because of his history with Rick Dennison, who in 2018 was the Jets offensive coordinator slash run game uh, coordinator. So hashtag chemistry. You, you find this all over the place where uh, like, remember when John D. Filippo came over here for the Hawks second and you know, Josh Andrews sort of trotted along. Uh, Josh Andrews was, I believe, in his fifth year, uh, I believe was out of practice squad eligibility, but had just been that reserve backup guy, uh, offensive lineman for the Eagles for a number of years. Didn't really do much here, but I digress. Uh, actually, last year, I mean, Dakota Dozier, he, you may forget, but he started four games. Yeah, he started week two versus Green Bay in for Elfline. Also, week four at Chicago, uh, week six uh, versus Philadelphia, and week 11 versus Denver. All three of those were in for Josh Klein, uh, who had been missing a, a couple of games uh, due to injury as well as concussion. So, I mean, again, maybe health played into a reason why the Vikings wanted him to take a pay cut and then just a cut cut. Uh, but Dakota Dozier played 361 offensive snaps, which is a career high for him. Uh, he had been you know, sort of a floating spot starter backup uh, for the Jets for four years. And overall, he, he didn't play great, uh, but also was not uh, a massive hindrance. Like, there's plenty of blame to go around at, at times with the Vikings offensive line. You know, Dakota Dozier certainly had his faults. Uh, did give up four pressures and a sack against Chicago, but also everyone was terrible that game. Uh, overall, the season uh, in the 361 snaps allowed 18 pressures and two sacks. I mean, he played on par, slightly better than Elfline. He didn't play as good as Klein, who, like we've talked about, probably was the Vikings' second-best offensive lineman at times last year, which kind of sucks. But, um, you know, the question is with Dozier, so why bring him back? So a guy who's slightly better than Elfline, slightly worse than Josh Klein, why bring him back? So familiarity uh, with the scheme uh, and with Dennison uh, obviously uh, plays a big part in it. Plus, you know, flexibility, uh, especially when you're dressing seven or eight offensive linemen on game day. Well, that'll change with the new CBA rules, but I don't know. So it is important that guys can play and back up multiple positions. So with Dozier, he can play four spots, like everyone except for guard. He can play both guard spots, as you saw last year. He started at both as well as uh, he can play tackle in a pinch. And actually, if you go back to preseason last year, uh, there are times that Dozier was running as the backup left tackle. Like, it wasn't Rashad Hill. Like, Rashad Hill is the backup right tackle, even though – in season, it would be Rashad Hill replacing Riley Reef, but I mean, for all intents and purposes, whatever. So in preseason, he did actually play two full game, two preseason games uh, against Seattle as well as against Buffalo. So preseason weeks two and four at left tackle. So yeah, and also, I mean, they clearly trust him. When one of the starters went down last year was Elfline or Klein, it was Dozier off the bench first. It was Dozier, it was Dozier, it was Dozier. It was not Brett Jones, it was not Drew Samia, it, it was not uh, Ole Udo. And, yeah, we can disagree until our faces are, are um, you know, black and blue or blue, you know, whatever, uh, until we're blue in the face. Ah, nailed it. Uh, but that was Dennison's decision, that was Kubiak's decision, that was Stefanski's decision, et cetera. So it is what it is. Also, so the contract. I mean, I mean, one year, one million bucks. Full details aren't out yet, but I'm guessing it's slightly above veteran minimum. Uh, it's likely a small signing bonus if there is one, and it's likely zero or very extremely little guaranteed. So it doesn't guarantee him a roster spot at all. And I, I know, like, fans are bitches like, oh, what's the point of this? I mean, it's a 90-man roster. Like, not every one of these are going to be uh, a pile driver dudes uh, up and down one through 90. So ha- having veterans like this who, if he makes a team, great, uh, is a veteran, does know the scheme, does have position, position flexibility, nailed it, uh, as well as he doesn't make a lot. And Vikings in the cap situation, that, that is important. So, I mean, it, it it is what it is. And if Samia and Udo and Brett Jones and rookie TBDs are rock stars and fully ready to go in 2020, 
Dozier can be cut. No muss, no fuss. So it really is a no risk signing for the Vikings. It's the same thing as Rashad Hill, same thing as Brett Jones, and some of these young kids just come in and they're ready to shine. Out goes Dakota Dozier. Out goes Rashad Hill. Out goes Brett Jones. Uh, basically nothing um, dead on the cap except their tiny signing bonuses. And you know, if they make it, great. Or the Vikings can do what they did with Brett Jones last year. It's like, hey, we know you're making league minimum. We're going to cut you before week one. We're going to sign you after week one so that every single week your paycheck is week to week. So, yeah. great. Cool. But overall, decent backup. I'm fine with it. But, again, if the kids are ready, deuces. Uh, but your thoughts? Uh, Vikings re-signing Dakota Dozier. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. If you want to support the work, pull us on the Venmo. Please give us a follow on social media as well. Until next time, Skull, production value.